Right. Quick one, this now. You see, it doesn't matter if the earth is flat, and it doesn't matter if the sky is filled with chemtrails. All right? What matters is why you think the earth is flat and why you think the sky is filled with chemtrails. That's a more important question as to if they are real, if it is flat, or if we're getting chemically fucking assaulted. It's why do you think that? All right. That's the interesting question. Right? And the reason you think it, right, is one, because you can see it, right, and two, because the seeds have been planted, right, and you're wanting to say to people, oh, you've got to be free thinking, you've got to be open minded, you've got to listen to Alex Jones, David Icke, Brian Jerish, immediately. Because them guys know what they're talking about. And they're bringing us the truth, telling us. Now, next point that that brings me to, which I didn't mean to cover the other night. Right? Oh, as you're searching to find these truths, answers to these questions that... You can't really get access to the facts of <sighs> that you think that at some point the world will know. But the world already does know. The problem on this planet right, is the actual system itself. And the system itself, i.e the top fucking brass of the banking world or even just say very high up ruling elites they know this they know that they are the sirs amongst the wheat feeding off the energy and life force of the herd right and they don't really want you to know what they know because if you work that out their game's up and they're fucking rumbled so what do you do if you are in their position what is your manoeuvre what is your greatest s sort of like survival stroke defence safety sort of tactical manoeuvres what would they be well if you want to control reality first you must become a master of deception so you become the masters of deception you become the masters of illusion you become the masters of spin you become the masters of controversy and you become as i said the masters of deception so you put your agents out and they come out to deceive you and then the, you have now the list of conspiracies Plus some that people have just thought of on the backs of all the other paranoid delusions. But all this is re in reality doing is protecting the beast. Or, you could say, the fucker behind the curtain. Right? You know, and this elite thing that I'm on about, it's not, it doesn't stop at the border of your country. You know, it stems it. That Russian Prime Minister that flipped into power just so they could keep um, <clears throat> Cause you can't be you can't be thingy, can you? To you've got to come out of power to go back in basically. But he was there doing an interview and he's going, Oh yeah, well um the America they're in league with aliens and we know this and we've got top secret files on it and the camera crew are laughing while he's saying it and then he says and blah 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 he says and if you want to like look into it 
research men in black. So they're all at it. You know, they all put conspiracy theories out. Russia's bad for doing it. Russia is the reason that you've got Tartaria. It's the Russian conspiracy whack jobs that are getting fed that one over there and it's, you know, across the uh, flat earth. So, these really are distraction tactics. And until you sort of, until that, until you realise that, you're in the danger zone of falling for any old kind of shit. Napoleon built the pyramids in three weeks. Have you seen the work that went into them? But people will push it. They'll push it. And, and these aren't even the evil. These are just working on the off chance they can get a few quid. It runs itself. If it's done right. <laughs> it's clever. Well, it's not that clever. You know, you just sit back. We'll do the work. We'll, we'll, we'll think up of our own. So, you know what I mean? And yeah, there is a lot of strange stuff that you, you, you can look into with lots of truth in it. But look at uh, Enochian magic and you, you know, and you go and look at John Dee and he's got his fucking stupid spinning tetragrams. And they're just dog shit. But from them has spawned a lot of this stuff. You see, you know. The seven secret names of God and all that guff. It's all crap, but it's, it comes, it's like I said, it's the spell. You know, you start the spell there. You know, it's fun, right? It can deceive the people 500 years later and cause a lot of problems. Oh, thank you very much. And, um, let me cross the road, it's a busy road. So, there you go. I'll upload them. While I'm in work. And, uh, yeah. So, they're like, you're not really going to get to the answer. There's going to be no answers at the end of any of these journeys. And to think that there will be is naive because whenever you get near an answer, you'll get another problem. You see, the rabbit warrens extend themselves, they self build him. That's your fucking smart dust. Right, but it's our brains being thick and falling for every line they throw at us, right? So, you know, and to think, I wouldn't even want to think that we'll ever get to the answers of all these problems. I wouldn't want to be thinking like that because I know it's complex to fuck and it, it, it can't, it's, you can't solve it. It'll just keep moving on to the next, in other words, you know, one minute, Flat Earth's a big thing, then it's Tartaria. Next thing, you know, and it just keeps going. It doesn't stop. You know, it keeps dragging in, and, and then you're not getting on with your life, innit? And fighting a, something you can't really fight. You know. And you're just basically just spinning around, and you, next thing you know, you'll look back, and you might have wasted 20 years of your past. Good one.